Okay, Acorn. If I just click on that file like I gave you and um, say open with Zara Designer Pro Plus, it opens like that. Uh, and if you look down the bottom here, there are what would appear to be name colours and shades of name colours. Um, but if you actually go into the uh, name gallery, there's only two name colours and there's no shades of those name colours. So there's probably a difference between different uh, different vector programs here. Um, so if I, I click that same colour on here and move that there, that works fine. And select that, select the theme colour. That then move that there. I'll keep that so that and then if I select these shapes, not text, the shapes, they're going unnamed to and similarly with this semi semi fergal here, um, that doesn't appear to have um, a shade of the colour, um, but there's nothing to stop you from um, selecting that local colour. And before I select the local colour, it already appears to be a shade of a, a colour, but it's not, which is normally what you get here. And I can adjust the shade of that colour and by moving that around, but it's not um, being named as that. But there's nothing stopping me from just going make a shade of colour one, create, and I've got one, and it comes down in here then. Um, so there are named colours, um, so I could do that. Um, interestingly, this only works when I do the um, import uh, open file, uh, file directory, then open with our designer pro plus um, it doesn't if I just drop the whole thing into a window in Zara um, it doesn't come in with these name colors and shades of name colors anyway uh, that's my thought on it um, so uh, let me know what you think this is egg all the best goodbye